your lore is crazy. <laughs> you yeah. done like so. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> forgot you did Dancing with the Stars. Yes, yeah, and I that know. was like such a big like that was like a moment. Yeah, and you were you were running with your partner, uh, Val. We almost won. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We were, like listening and looking for the mic because people yep. always bitch about the sound. Yeah, of course. Guys, it's it's low production. No, low but production that's what makes it. You. That's what makes it good. Okay, wait, what are we talking no. about? Okay, everything. Wait, I'm the people are like, will you please introduce your guests? I'm like, you guys, that's part of the fun. Yeah. So I want to introduce you. Okay, cool. Okay, Girl Boss Town yes. on TikTok, Robin Del Monte. Perfect. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And we recently met. I was on an audition. You already have it. Yes. Which I don't know how much we're allowed to talk yeah, about. Yeah, I don't think we can. We'll just say that. No, yeah. totally. And, well, <laughs> we, we, we started talking about my eyebrows immediately. <laughs> yes. You were like, love the skinny brow, but it was still, like, in my, like, drag queen phase where it I it was graph like it was graphite from a pencil. <laughs> no. Graphite. The shade was so off. They're like thicker now. But and I like couldn't read something or I was missing something. I was like not catching on and you're like, it's the eyebrows. I'm like, it's definitely the eyebrows. It is the eyebrows. And I died. I'm like, this is part of my brain power. Yeah. And I shaved half of it off. Yeah. I Wait, so let's just, let's save, so we'll, yeah. we'll do the intro and then we'll just, we're just going to go into pop culture shit, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm but also, which you don't have to say anything, but I thought it was kind of funny. Um, <laughs> one of the girls there, I feel like just did not fuck with me. Are we recording right now? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to say. But I felt like she was controlled opposition. <laughs> um, Everything I say, she was like, shut down, shut down. Yeah. I'm like, you guys, I'm just being honest. Yeah. But I think they need that in that type of show. <laughs> but you did so well. Thank you. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. I just went hard on that drag queen i was like did she lose she was dressed like a bug at the emmys do you not watch right? rupaul i do but they don't show up like that they're oh. like they look gorgeous yeah yeah like M- michelle visage would have like mm-hmm. you Who know I love. wait same. i didn't realize we started yeah I okay sneaky start because <laughs> i like the background <laughs> and okay perfect <laughs> um no yes so we met on an edition for yeah. straight men yeah Yes. Which is like, it's funny to think about now. Wild. I know. I called my manager. I was like, the me after everything, literally crushed. Yeah, I'm like, like I got it. <laughs> yeah. I did so well. I'm like, there's no other option. Yeah. I'm Mexican. I'm a girl and I'm queer. There's no way I didn't get it. But they were literally looking for a straight white man. I'm yeah. like, in what world? <laughs> right, right. But may- like, maybe it was just because we were meant to do this. Yeah, I think maybe so. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, no, you were so warm. I loved you right away. Thank you. It- and like, our brows were opposites. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like it was like opposites <laughs> attracting. I actually yes. haven't touched my eyebrows in like six years, and yeah. yours were but pencil one graphite. Line. Yeah, yeah, one so pencil it was graphite. Like, I like it came love. Came together. <laughs> yes. like, you know what? Like I was, I was thinking about in art <laughs> class. Like you know when you do shading and like you get the graphite all right here. Yes, that's what it was. It was like shading. <laughs> yeah, I went really skinny at the beginning, but I liked I was, it. No, what same. made you? <laughs> you're like what inspired yeah. this yeah um honestly i love pam anderson yeah and i'm just always fucking with my look i feel because yeah. i want to like nail it but What's it's like next? what is i know i think i might go back blonde okay I, I just went dark yeah because everyone and this is the thing with everyone is they always come around mm-hmm. when i went blonde they hated it at first then i was like we loved it yeah and i think the brows i'm just like i just like to challenge people i'm yeah. like get on the train i feel like what if you like came up with like you're like okay my next look actually is like chapel row and like you come up with like <laughs> yes. red hair I yeah think you could do a red no actually I've have you about done it. red no but i have red undertones yeah i was gonna say and your mm-hmm. eye color would look good with like a red yes i thought you're gonna say like i come out bald i'm <laughs> always like fucking with the idea like late night thoughts before you go to bed you're it's watching like watching antm the season where she tells them she's gonna shave all their heads and you're like you know what <laughs> yeah honestly right my head is I'm way like, too that. big but i do it's crazy you said like, that about your eyebrows too i have a big head i make it smaller in yeah. face tune okay well i like don't want to pay the extra 3.99 a month for the face tune too because my phone is like not updated so like i need face tune too and like you need to pay for it um but i remember when i first started face tuning my pictures i would always try to make my head look small but then my ears yes. would be like in my mouth in the photo and i was like wait a minute you're like what's wait wrong a here now they just have a two finger who yeah. Like you well, do you just remember? Like, pick, how old are you? Um, I I lie about my age, but it hit me. You'll never know. I'll tell you after. I'm thirty. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Same I used probably. to use Picnic to edit my pictures. Okay. It was like a computer. This is on like a desktop yes. computer. Picnic. Yes. And you used to be able to like change your eye color and like put, edit your MySpace picture. So like to go from Picnic to Facetune 
to the Paris filter, <laughs> we've like seen it all. We do have. You, do you one swipe to Paris filter every story you post or no? Now I don't. I used to. I used to too. I don't either. Yeah. Because sometimes like the grain on your face makes people trust you more. To- I agree. I'm like we're leaning. When I literally. <sighs> What was it? Was it a Vogue? He's, I cannot. <laughs> I just, I just posted a video about dog moms that's highly controversial. I'm like, if you guys spent five seconds with him, you would understand. I'm a dog mom. But I know, but anyways, I, I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I really don't give a fuck. Okay, okay, good to know. Good to know. No, uh, I'm like hiding my, like, dog. Yeah, chain. do not show me a picture. No, I'm just kidding. No, of next course. time somebody asks to show a picture of dog, you're just like, no. Yeah. No, no. people think I, like, abuse him. Aww. Like, you don't like him because he's a golden doodle. I'm like, no, I, I feel like the, that's the only reason why I like him. Golden doodles are aggressive. Cute. They're like, they're really high energy. Yeah. But you know what? Teach their own. Look yeah, at- totally. And he's perverted. Yes. Um, But the Paris filter, yeah. Okay. Uh, Ky- Or was it Kendall Jenner, maybe, who did like a Vogue? Yep. Yes. What- Kendall Jenner for Vogue? Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. <laughs> but it was no like, way. <laughs> I love like risk taking. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I like how the so, industry like, is come moving of- towards yes. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, come out of your shell. <laughs> yes. She's like. She's taking risks. It's yeah. both the editors at Vogue. Like they always find new talent, <laughs> right? You know what I mean. She's diverse. She had some ribs removed. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and she's like, I'm like, she's really open about it. Yeah. Um, but she went out and with she's no a nerd. makeup. She is she a nerd? She's quirky. She's like a nerd. You know what I mean? She likes to read. She likes to stay in and like. I've know. heard some. I mean, she's pretty much kind of known in the lesbian community as a lesbian. I hate to comment on people's sexualities. I haven't came on the closet, but what else would I do here? Who? If you could date anybody in the Kardashian family, who yeah. would you date? Kylie. Really? Hands down. Mm-hmm. I love her. I think she has the best style. I think she's funny. I support her and Timmy. He's a Capricorn. Yeah, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a Kylie stan as well. Like, yeah. I was like an early Kylie stan. Like, Were you? Oh, I was always like, she's going to be cool. Yeah, like, yeah. the blue hair. I was like, mm-hmm. she's going to have a moment. But weirdly, like, I also love a Kim. I yeah. love a Kim. Yeah. Sometimes I feel you, like I feel like you love a businesswoman. I love a businesswoman special. Yeah. I do have yeah. the phrase girl boss in my handle, <laughs> yep. which is like speaks volumes. And I didn't think this was gonna be my career career clearly because like people yeah. don't even know my name. Like I, I know. I'm I like, can't... is it Robin or is it Robin? Or is it Robin? Or is no, it <laughs> I can't edit like on Instagram, you can't edit like your name like not like your handle but your Mm. name if you're like a verified account which is like a business account so like yeah my name isn't on my profile so like it literally just says girl boss town girl boss town so if i'm ever recognized (laughs) which happens like once in a blue moon like on a lunar eclipse they're they're like girl boss girl girl boss and i like look like a ray dunn plate from like marshall's i'm like girl boss (laughs) i'm rocking up i'm like and when i'm at like it's me my people (laughs) my girl 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 but literally um but yeah i didn't think that that was gonna be my <laughs> career <laughs> yeah my legacy um but i do love a businesswoman special and i like to get off my ass and work so i am a kim yeah. girly i'm a kim girly I, yes I who mean, do you think like you would not like you would go on a first date with because they look yeah. attractive and you're like we just don't vibe out of the uh, Kardashians. Um, wait, I'm oh I'm like MJ the grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like uh-huh, I'm gonna vibe with all of them. I will hang out with all of them. I mean, if I had to pick one, probably Kendall. Yeah, I feel like she's just like has shown the least personality. Like the cucumber thing was all she got, and mm-hmm. that was like frankly like fuck. Come yeah. on. Yeah, I I don't know how to cut. A- Fruits. Well, how do you know that? Not, not, yeah, you literally just slice. Yeah, but I would always like my mom taught me to like bend your do knuckles when you're doing it. But I'm like, yeah. this is uncomfortable. But you know, I, know. I, I, I can see that. I can yeah. see the yours the is MJ. So going, oh yeah, no, or, I actually like MJ. <laughs> Honestly, like this is gonna get dark. Like my mom <laughs> passed away. <laughs> not funny, but like I can joke about it. My mom died, and sometimes I think in my head, I'm like, not only. Did, does the Kardashians still have their mom? Like, MJ yeah. is still around. Yeah, crazy. Like, mm-hmm. she has to be close, what, like, 100? Like, I feel like she has to be close to being 100. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, I honestly respect MJ for just, like, being alive. Like, yeah, totally. shout out old people. Yes. Like, they're still here. Like, Absolutely. That and still is kicking. Crazy. They're doing, they're running in the same circles as Joe Rogan. Like, because you know, he's always screaming about supplements. He has no neck. And somehow he's like completely morphed into something we've never seen. What is like a healthcare hot take that you have? 
Um, not healthcare, but like a, a wellness. I have a good one actually. What? Um, I think Colorado's terrible for your health. If, if you do not come to my podcast, if you do not want to be offended, I've never been. But I, what is it called? Um, Altitude. when you're high up, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're high up, sickness. I've heard yeah. that. I've yeah. heard that. So you you feel terrible now that I'm like, which I don't think I ever acclimated. First of all, people who live in Everest, basically Colorado, they have like the Sherpas who do the trek. Like you know, when you train for that and stuff, they they from. Like, I don't know um, their heritage from living up there. They've grown an extra artery. Really? Yes. Which is like blood flow that helps get oxygen to your brain. So maybe hook up with somebody from Colorado because they <laughs> yeah, can hold their breath longer by making out longer. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they, should, they, they need to start like an underwater swimming team or something. You're Let's... into the marathon sport of making out. Yeah, exactly. You <laughs> know what? I mean, if they can hold their breath, like what else can you do when you hold your breath? Like play right. the, tea, the tea party on the bottom of the pool? Like yeah. not you're dressed at camp anymore, and you're like, wait, are you from Colorado? She's like still down there. Yeah, she's, she's like cool. turning blue, but it's fine because she's always kind of blue. An extra artery. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, but Colorado people don't have that. And like, besides, you feel terrible by living down there. We did used to tell patients, like, because I was a nurse, mm-hmm. which is crazy. It's crazy. It's deep into the lore. Yeah, but um, that we used to tell patients like who had lung disease and stuff, even heart disease, like get out of the altitude, go to Florida. Really? Yeah. Okay, wait. So you used to be a nurse. Yeah. I didn't mean to say that's crazy. No, it is. But if you think about it, (laughs) (laughs) your day. The way you carry yourself now. No, no, no. No. Your day in the life of work then. Yeah. And now, very different. What is something that is similar about nursing and influencing? Um, Not that you're an influencer, but if you had to. Yeah. No, totally. I'm like, what is the same? I was, I was gonna go dark but like criticism (laughs) the patriarchy I'll take it there okay yeah we're still fighting it I worked with a lot of old men and you Mm. didn't have a voice kind of what unit were you in an ICU nurse oh holy shit yeah Yeah. most of my friends I feel like I'm from like Massachusetts New Hampshire and like everybody's a nurse yeah like it is yeah there's so many nurses Wait, what? I'm really sorry to hear about your mom. Yes, it's okay. <laughs> um, As you laugh. No, like, I know. I'm like giggling. I'm no, like, no, where no, do I go I, next? But, How much do no, I get into no, this? No, but I um the like when did so, she pass away? She she passed away ten years ago mm. um from a medical mistake, and I know you're oh a nurse. Oh my god! So, no, <laughs> yeah. um, not like half medical mistake, half like um like a cancer diagnosis that just got oh, like complicated. Yeah, it's okay, but I have learned that, like, death is the thing that's going to happen to every single person, yet Everyone. it's the most awkward thing to talk about. Yeah. You think about it, it's, like, so yes. taboo. So when you laugh and make jokes, obviously it's a way of coping, but it's also, yeah. like, it's part of life. Like, it's, like, it's a, it's not awkward to talk about. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I, I um I met my boyfriend at grief camp, so. Oh, my God, yes, I've heard that, yes. which makes sense. I'm, like, I didn't know if you had experienced a loss yes. with grief camp. I have. Did he, has he experienced a loss? He's experienced a loss as well. So I would say, like, probably, like, a li- like, 70% of the counselors have, like, experienced a loss there, and then uh, the other 30% haven't. Um, they just love grief. They, they <laughs> love <laughs> grief. Yeah. They um, but, no, sad. but grief camp is, like, the moment. Yeah. It is so fun. It's like an oxymoron grief it ha- camp. Right. It has um, to be, though. But, yeah, it's, it's a moment. It's great. Um, but, yeah, I actually met my, like, boyfriend through grief camp. So, oh, my God. He yeah. was a counselor, too. He was a counselor, too. I knew him from back home. But then I invited him to come to grief camp, you know, like, first date. Like, <laughs> yeah. breaking the ice a little yeah, bit. Yeah, come mourn, baby. I'm like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Let's Gr- talk about our feelings. Grief does make you horny. Exactly. Well, I've, I've, I've heard. Never, the funerals are, like, when people – make babies the most or there's like a statistic that like most there's so many like pregnancies that come out of funerals because people are having sex after funerals because you want to feel close to somebody totally and you probably don't want to think about it yeah exactly you're like just like make out (laughs) right from colorado come in they're just like (laughs) making out with you for hours yeah (laughs) um but yeah we became close through grief camp and like to see a man with emotions yes i think that's what shifted things for me because i like fucking hate men never would have been like ever gotten married or anything like that because I'm like literally I can't yeah no Um, it's like so so the only way that I would like connect with a man is like watching him have grief emotion (laughs) yes so watching him and I was like you know what I'm into it yeah I'm into it but yeah Yeah. and you guys probably have who did he lose can I ask um he lost a sibling okay yeah do do you feel like do you guys ever talk about it of course 1000% and I feel like you 
it's it's so like kind of like what I was saying before. It's like I don't know if you've gone to summer camp in general. If there's something yeah. where it's like you're all strangers and then you get in a room and like you're close within like five minutes because you have like a shared connection over something. So it's mm-hmm. like you go into this camp being like, I'm not going to fucking talk about my feelings. This is weird. Like I don't know these people. Like this is yeah. so fucking awkward. And within the first five minutes, you're like talking about shit that you've like never told anybody, but it feels Dude. comfortable. Right. So I feel like we like it. We definitely talk about it. And we connect over that. Even shit mm-hmm. like it's like, yeah, like. I was in, like, Walmart today, and, like, I saw, like, the chicken nuggets, like, my mom used to make me, and I was, like, yeah. crying. Like, oh, it, just, like, but, yeah. like, it's, like, nobody would understand that. Totally. Um, but, yeah, I mean, grief is, it's complicated, it's not linear. Um, no. But I will say, to Netflix, <laughs> every movie starts with a dead parent. Yeah. Every movie starts with a dead parent, and, like, mm-hmm. I'm here. So if you guys need to like work with somebody, <laughs> yeah. like I have this a dead is my parent. pitch. It, yes, isn't it crazy. I can give you some insight. No, every like, movie starts with a dead parent. Yeah, Finding Nemo. Yes, like, there's Bambi, always some everybody. kind of death. A lot of yes, Disney all has the dead parent in the beginning. Yeah. So it's like I kind of I'm like making it about myself, but I'm like, yeah. I'm like it's kind of cunt. Like, no, you know as what I mean? you should. Yeah, it's kind of a moment. I mean, absolutely. Yeah, and you're dealing exactly. with it. It's like obviously Netflix. And then they always hello. like fall in love right. after it. And I was like, that kind of happened to me. No, you're a success story. So, you know, you're on the end. Here I am. I mean, I'm like PR moves for dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just dead. Not That's your like, bio. PR moves for <laughs> yeah. dead. So like, just like have fun. Like, just, right. like move on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> listen to me. Yeah. Don't think about your feelings. Do not mourn. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> oh, look at. No, he's so crazy. Meet Aria, your go-to guide for all things sex and intimacy. Aria makes it easy for couples to break out of routine, deep in emotional connection, always a goal of mine, and energize their relationship with curated experiences called scenes. Just take a quick quiz about your relationship and Aria's concierge will send you everything you need to explore something new every month. You'll get expert insights, step-by-step guidance, and a box of high-end goodies delivered right to your door. Aria takes care of the details so you can focus on each other. Aria takes away the mental load of figuring out how to spice things up by doing the work for you and sending you everything you need. This holiday season, Aria is making gifting extra special. Skip the matching PJs, dear God, and surprise your loved one with the gift of intimacy and great sex. It's the perfect way to connect on a deeper level. People come to Aria for many reasons. Whether you're stuck in a routine, seeking deeper emotional intimacy, or wanting to infuse more play into your relationship, Aria makes it easy for couples to connect by crafting customized intimate experiences called scenes, tailored to your needs. Aria provides a lifestyle change to prioritize the most important relationship in your life. Every piece of the scene experience is designed to be interacted with and shared. Couples also often use the concierge to learn more about their preferences and share it with their partner. The concierge is nice because it takes all the thought of trying new things with your partner and who likes to think truly. They send tips and tricks weekly to help get you started. It's easy to get started with a fun private quiz to understand you as a couple. Surprise your partner today or later by gifting Aria this holiday season. Visit A-R-Y-A dot F-Y-I and use code Gabby Wendy for 15% off today. Anyways, you know, there's some things you can take risks on, like a new nail salon, a new injector, I do love to shop around, or a new Trader Joe's item, aka the squiggly noodle. But you should not take a risk on finding the right doctor. And with ZocDoc, it's not a risk because you've got more options than you know. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare high-quality in-network doctors, choose the right one for your needs, and click to instantly book an appointment. We're talking about in-network appointments with more than 100,000 healthcare providers across every specialty, from mental health to dental health, eye care to skin care, and much more. You can even filter for doctors who take your insurance, who are located nearby, who are a good fit for any medical need you may have, and who are highly rated by verified patients. You can also see their actual appointment openings, choose a time that works for you, and click to instantly book a visit. 
Plus, ZocDoc appointments happen fast, typically within 24 to 72 hours of booking. You can even score same-day appointments. Hello, if I had needed this product, it's what I'd use. So stop putting off those doctor's appointments and go to ZocDoc.com slash Gabby Wendy to find and instantly book a top-rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Gabby Wendy ZocDoc dot com slash Gabby Wendy. Um, but so how are you and your boyfriend? We're good. So you I, guys are long my, distance. So he's like coming out to LA. Um, moving. Essentially, yeah. I'm yeah. not calling it that because I'm like, because <laughs> you're too scared. No, I'm not. I just think that like, so we recently started talking about we've known each other for like five years, but like I haven't been in a relationship for like since like. I'm like, what's defined as a relationship? I've yeah. been in a relationship in a while, and I'm like, the op. You know how people are like, I'm a relationship girl. Like, I'm yeah. not. I love being alone. Yeah. I love. What's being your in my sign? Bed. So okay. Okay. So <laughs> I know. So I'm a Gemini sun. Okay. Pisces moon, Cancer rising, Cancer okay. Venus. Okay. Fuck. Cancer, everything else. Yeah. I have the same big three. Um. I will have the same birthday as Azealia Banks. If that tells you anything. I'm fully dead because I want to ask you about internet beef. Yes. And she is like the yeah, queen of is. internet so, like, beef. We have the same birthday. Yeah. Um, if that says anything, but yeah, Gemini. <laughs> but sun. I feel like you're like kind of introverted, exactly. like you talk about. So you're the opposite, and that's how Gemini's are, right? Yes. You're like one way or the other exactly but also like pisces moon is like the most emotional so nostalgic mm-hmm. cancer sun cancer venus cancers are like hard on the outside soft on the inside so like i'm a walking contradiction because the gemini's yes. like everybody look at me like let's fucking go and then when people look at me i'm like what the fuck like, <laughs> you like, like yeah, yeah stop it like yeah. but if they didn't i'd be sad too so it's like i'm never happy right. yeah you know, like, wait what are you yeah that kind of sounds like me which i've met some gemini's recently because mm-hmm. i feel like they're i'm a capricorn well, they're yeah. like a little similar to Capricorns maybe the one like not but I also know some that are on the other way isn't Jesus a Capricorn is Jesus a Capricorn I think I'm so. dying to yes. find people who are famous as a Capricorn I think Jesus I is think a Capricorn and Harry oh Potter God. I'm pretty sure is a Capricorn and Jesus well. is a tooth is a tooth teller <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he has two problems. <laughs> yeah. Is a truth teller. Yes. Well, also, I feel like Capricorns are the student of life. Like, they, like, are constantly mm. learning, whether it's in, like, a lot of them are, like, kind of nerdy in a sense, but, like, they always need to be learning something new. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. And yeah I like, feel like I that... actually hate learning. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm like, I actually try not to. I'm like, I'm watching a new docuseries called Real Housewives. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm, I'm re watching Rahoni. Like, oh, my God. The older seasons? Yeah. So I start, oh. when I do my Rahoni rewatches, the I way usually, you say Rahoni. Rahoni. I um it sounds like I'm saying like I'm horny. Um I start at six and go like six to ten. Like it's when yeah. Bethany comes back after being rich and famous. Yes. And like Carol Raswell and Doree, like that's like yeah. when that starts. Cause I'll rewatch the OG OG ones, but I like uh-huh. that little oh yeah berserkers, like just like craziness. Oh, like, love it. You know I what started I mean? with because I hadn't seen it at all. I think I started really? with se- yes with season seven. I'm late to Real Housewives. I'm like I didn't have a childhood, so I just like was not in on reality yeah. TV yet or like house. I guess it wasn't so childhood, whatever. But I started on season seven because yeah, they great. said yes, and now yeah. I'm on season six. Love Dorinda. I love Carol and uh, Luann. Yes. The way Luann says Carol yeah. was how I say my therapist's name. Is her, her name Carol? Yes, I'm always like, Carol. Raswell. <laughs> yeah. um, her lore is crazy, too. Like, you know, like her family history and everything like She's that. She's a countess. No, uh, Luann. Oh, she was like. Best friends with Carol and Bissette Kennedy and JFK Jr. Oh, my God, because she's like a journalist. Yeah, and right? her husband who passed away, oh. his mom was. Um, JFK's wife's sister. I don't know if you guys could do the map. Oh there. my god! But yeah. like a part of the Kennedys. Yes. Which is so crazy. Yeah. And, and now she's affluent. on her house of New York. Wow. Yes. So. And now she's like her like tagline is like I don't want to work. Yeah. And I'm well, like she never, really. Like, she seems like so hardworking. Kind of. Yeah. She's like doesn't like working. Which Insane. you know what? Like who does? Proud. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's the thing. That's the thing that I don't understand. It's like if you could be in your bed and make money, mm-hmm. you would. Right. Mm-hmm. So like we need to cut her some slack, and like this is the, this is the other lore that like nobody <laughs> talks about. Speaking of like reality TV, it's like when on reality TV they're like 
their storyline is like getting a job. Yeah. Or like trying to start a new, like, and mm-hmm. people are like, they don't have a job. It's like, but them being on reality TV, like that's their it's job. Like, and like yeah. they're getting paid. Teresa Judice gets $100,000 an episode. Really? Yeah. So, Would, the did, fuck? Yeah, did you like New Jersey? Um, I watched, like, a couple seasons of it. I've fallen off recently. Yeah, I don't watch the new ones. The old one is classic. Yes. Have you been to the state of New Jersey? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Like, I went, I threw a bachelorette party in the Jersey Shore. I'm dead. And yeah. you love Jersey Shore. Love the show. Jersey yes. Shore. So, like, is that I, why? Is that a direct correlation? Or you liked it before? Well, both. Like, I grew up competitive cheerleading. I don't know if you can tell okay. by, like, my oh, sarcastic yeah. tone. <laughs> um, and the best all-star gyms were in Jersey. And I'd be like, Mom, please. Like, can we move to New Jersey? She's like, bitch, I literally can't even pay for groceries. Like, let alone all-star <laughs> cheerleading. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, and then I loved Real Housewives of New Jersey. And then yeah. Jersey Shore. So I was like, I got to go to this place. And normally I have, like, long acrylic nails yes like, I, just, I'm I a love girl at heart me too I love I the trash to the Jersey Shore yeah I'm not joking had the best time the best time of my life like the best no, time. I, <laughs> I see this is like Come on, I start making out I would love yeah you're like how long I'm like is he from bed? Colorado <laughs> no um I had the best time like and we like we went to this place called DJ's it's in Belmar and the whole concept of the bar is like they do a happy hour but it's it looks like a club like it's black on the inside <laughs> yeah and the bars battle so it's east versus west and like where okay, you stand okay by Tupac the, yeah okay biggie <laughs> where you stand by the bar is like you're like I rep this bar and like I only buy drinks from this bar like it's like it's like oh wow it's like a, a rivalry big, a rivalry and yes. then in the middle the bars compete to see who makes more money and they're like wow. east east west west and I'm like I love hatred and competitiveness same I love a reason to get excited exactly like I love the spirit of it I don't exactly. give a fuck where it comes exactly. from I love getting excited yeah same let's Catch, just get excited okay? literally me at a hockey game in the penalty box the best love it Going were you crazy, competitive playing board games growing up um we didn't really play a lot and like I feel like I internalize so much that if I lose at a board game it's like I take it so personally I'm no like, it's bad I threw a Comcast remote better. at my sister's head <laughs> after playing the game sorry and like I'm not joking like you know those hard Comcast remotes yeah, I just the took big it like cause I <laughs> did my she fix, get in, does she need a nose job like, now she actually she no longer here <laughs> Fuck. No. no, she's the. She was like the. She was. She's like the pretty sister. I'm one of four <laughs> sisters. You're so pretty. Oh my god, one of four. One do of you, four. Do you have so relationships? Like fist fight for the hair straightener. Aren't girls so crazy? Oh, when like, people, I, I've said this before. I'm like, when people like online bully me or in my hate comments, I'm like, oh, that's like child's. Com- I, I was like, I have sisters. Like we, the way we would beat each other down for yeah. sport. Oh like, yeah. Just like. The physicality the, of it is like, uh, are, you don't is get this, it. do I am I remembering it correctly? Yeah, like, <laughs> we would actually, if somebody was wearing like one of our shirts, it was like I would throw hands like at the bus stop in front of friends. Like, You're like, like tackling, <laughs> literally. It's crazy, but um, yeah, I had I one of four sisters and no, and like I was like raised by a single mom, so like there was no wiener in my house, like. Mm. Like, so, so I don't estrogen. even know how to, like, and I think that's why I didn't date, because, like, I, like, when I'm around men, I'm, like, I, like, actually, like, I'll never get it. Yeah, no. And to me, what is crazy is that people grew up with men in their house. Yeah. Like, right. isn't that kind of weird to think about? Yeah. And I sometimes, mean, and somebody on Instagram once, like, hate messaged me, and they're, like, it's funny how you shame people for, like, growing up with a dad. I'm, like, when they, like, no. <laughs> it's, like, do you understand my position, though? Let me shame people. Yeah, but I'm, like. I didn't have one. But, but like, and, like. I, like I do have a dad, but like oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my dad's like, hey, right, you on the hate comments. You're like just real quick, I do have a dad. I do have a dad, um, <laughs> but I just like I there was just like I never grew up around like male energy. Like yeah. I just I don't get it. Like mm-hmm. I'll never get it. And even sometimes like when I open up my boyfriend's fridge, I'm just like, I wonder what like made you like think like this. Like yeah, I wonder like like what's. Where I just is don't this get coming it. from? I mean, I get it. Well, my dad was like, we grew up with him for a time, and then he was in the Air Force. Well, the whole mm-hmm. time my parents separated, he like left and came back. But I feel like I feel like men just don't have responsibility. They can climb up in the ladder, and nobody like they they just don't have to have their shit together as much as women because mm-hmm. it's like in our blood. Mm-hmm. We're doing the fucking rearing, and you can tell that by a fridge. Yes, and my dad's the same way when he's single. Basically, yep. it's yes. like you don't ever get out of it. Yeah, he's like. 
like, you know, living with my stepmom. He's like, this just isn't my taste. I'm like, because she has paintings on the wall, <laughs> because she like tried a little extra. He like, when he lived on his own, he just painted every room a different shade of green. He's an adult man. Okay. But what <laughs> color was your childhood bedroom? Did you um, have the brown and teal blue vibe? <laughs> like, you know that one? It was like Parisian <laughs> chic or the, the pink and black. Parisian <laughs> chic. The pink and black. <laughs> yeah. Or like the teal, blue, green, okay. like spots. That was my apartment first after college which like, I that's died for <laughs> yes yeah no, that's literally my kitchen yeah. I have but growing up we moved a lot I had posters okay I had the peace sign frogs oh you I know I'm like, one of those yeah. I'm like a hippie at heart maybe it was like maybe it was a little insight the peace sign frogs like we're like it's a choice well, well you know that I made I made a prediction video <laughs> and I was like you know how bows are in right now yeah I was like I think like remember bows like, speakers lim- no bows <laughs> <laughs> oh and like you know like like, bows like the sound system (laughs) they're like rocking you know the bows pill is really in right now i'm like same i have one in every room you're like i'm literally obsessed i turn the volume up and down no i like it's crazy yes it is personal because right as i got a bose like noise canceling headphone set everyone came out with the apple ones i'm like what the fuck my uncle actually worked for bose and like those are og iPod Bose speakers were like the yeah. fucking moment. Those oh, yeah. square ones. Remember when you'd like plug your iPhone, your iPod into it and it would play. Yes. Yeah. Bose knows what they're doing, but you're talking about Bose. hair ribbons. Hair yeah. ribbons. How that's like sound. I was like, I think like the limited two or like Paul Frank Monkey is going to have a comeback, which like look, uh, look at right next to you. Yeah. Oh, I don't know Paul Frank Monkey. Do you regret all of your life choices? Yes. Does everyone hate you? Most definitely. Just remember this is only the anxiety talking and you will feel better in about two to three business days but who has the time i've tried everything hydrate iv mix in water does absolutely nothing only one martini and a glass of red nothing and then there was something z biotics pre-alcohol their probiotic was invented by phd scientists to tackle rough warnings after drinking here's how it works when you drink alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut it's this byproduct not dehydration that's to blame for your rough next day Pre-alcohol produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. This is a proactive solution that wards off feeling miserable the next day instead of a reactive approach like drinking electrolytes or eating greasy food. I actually have had Z-Biotics many times and I honestly swear by them. I can just have a more productive day the day after, like actually getting out of bed and even getting some work done. I kept hearing about pre-alcohol and wondered what it was actually like. Now that I've tried it, I get why everyone is talking about it. And with their GMO technology, Z-Biotics is continuing to invent probiotics that will help with everyday challenges of modern living. Go to zbiotics.com slash Gabby Windy to learn more and get 15% off your first order when you use Gabby Windy at checkout. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash Gabby Windy and use the code Gabby Windy at checkout for 15% off. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this episode and our good times. You don't know Paul Frank? Oh my god, like Lisa Frank's yeah. distant cousin. Yeah, I think they're <laughs> hooking up actually. Yeah. No, but it's it's kind of like the peace sign frog. It's kind of like the peace yes. frog. Okay, love like colors. Cartoon. I was basically born to do hallucinogenics and mm-hmm. to be a pothead. So here we are. Here. And now we're in the studio. We're yeah. looking into the light. Yes. <laughs> we're in a different dimension. Wait, when was the first time you smoked? Um and what was it out of? I, I smoked a little bit in high school straight bong. Wow. <laughs> Would obviously send me. So I'm like, Wait, this and you're from Colorado? I grew up outside of, I went to high school outside of St. Louis. Okay. My boyfriend was like doing ketamine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, where I grew oh no, where I grew up, the people partied harder in high school than they did in college. Like New Hampshire yeah. like gets the fuck after it. Like, <laughs> like don't what? be fooled. I'm like, where's New Hampshire? It only had four electoral votes. No, like literally like New Hampshire. <laughs> That's all I know about it. Gets the fuck. Well, you know the show, well, I'm like, do you know that small indie show, The Office? Um, <laughs> yeah. Michael moves to Nash, the Nashua branch, mm-hmm. which is like. 
I'm from Nashville, New Hampshire. <laughs> um, so that's where it is. But yeah, I used to like get the fuck after it mm. in high school. People were doing like Zanny bars before high school. Like it was yeah. fucking nuts. Like oh, it totally. was crazier than my college experience. So yeah. I, I I get that straight on. But I would do it. Um, first time I smoked was out of like a um Apple. a can a can okay. an aluminum can, which is probably yeah. why I'm like not fully there. And I coughed and it fell out. And it was uh. in front of a group of boys. Like. Name something worse. Yeah. Like name. No, you're like trying to look cool. Worse than yes. like holding in the cough and it coming out and then it like <laughs> ruining it. Like yeah, I think like, holding I in a cough. cough holding like, in a cough is like the most embarrassing thing of all. No, time. totally, because your face turns bright red and, and you're, you're like, like trying to talk. You're like yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I think you're really okay. Yeah, like holding in a cough is like it's a scale. People in Colorado could do it, but yeah. like. Oh yeah, People yeah. Colorado. <laughs> like, like you and you're holding breath and holding in a cough. Yeah, like you got to go and spend some time there, mm-hmm. like years, and come back and let me know how you feel. But even in class, remember when you had to cough in class and like you had yes. to hold it and you didn't want to go up to get the water bubbler or like what do you no. call it? Yeah, um, like water fountain. Yeah, I called it a bu- like I called it a bubbler. Chic. Yeah, exactly. Kind of ha- like a bubbler. That's also what we used to call, like. You know, certain bongs there was like bubblers. Did yeah. You ever, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Which yeah. is like the water's like so moldy. Yeah. It's like so probably. And it's like in a guy's like <laughs> yes. childhood bedroom in the corner, like with like termites in it. And you're yeah. Like, okay. Cool. It's just black, and you're like, fuck yeah, but I'm a cool girl, and yeah. I want to fuck. What was the movie that like? Because when I think of like going to a guy's house to smoke weed in like high school, like what mm-hmm. movie did they always have on? Uh, mine was Disturbia, like by, with Shia LaBeouf. I'm remember? dead. Yes, I do remember. I love that. Oh my God, you know what I've been thinking about recently? Did you ever watch the movie 13? Of course. Raise me. Same. Raise me. And you know Nikki Green. Because we have ser- like ish- parental issues, yes, it seems like. Exactly. <laughs> Nikki Green wrote that, like, about her. Who's Nikki Green? Is that her name? The actress in it, the, not the, uh, uh, like, the dark haired one. I'm pretty sure her name is. Nikki okay, she probably. Was also in Twilight. She wrote it, like, about with a writer like and at 13 like about her experience that is so crazy isn't it and like yes. she was actually 13 I was like they looked 27 <laughs> yeah. I just remember going around <laughs> the house and be like no bra oh no my panties God. yeah no bra <laughs> no panties and then like, I moved to LA and I was like okay like let's get after no bra it. No, no panties, panties. <laughs> and they had like a she had like a tongue ring and I was yes. like holy shit yeah same I'm like I gotta get a piercing ASAP like think about the content we were taking in yeah I Un- think it- no parental control. No. Definitely Euphoria. Who? Yeah, like thirteen. Right. Walked so Euphoria could run. Honestly, Quote and me like on that. yeah, adults are watching Euphoria probably and kids too. But like yeah. I don't know if they really know what HBO is. But it's like Euphoria is a show for adults. Yes, we like to watch the traumatized teens get down, and I want to see Jacob Elordi in Whitey Tidies. Exactly, saying like, Lebron panties. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he goes, like, take off your panties. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> no, come on, Nardo, <laughs> please. Sit, sit, sit. Okay. <laughs> he's so cute. Wait, when did oh, you get thank him? You. Um, he's he's seven and a half. So like you know, only a couple more years. He's gone through the phases <laughs> with you. He has. Yeah, he's gone through a lot of my life with me, and he's like a gypsy dog. Like I've done so much traveling just with shows, moving from state to state. He's You're like I am superstar. So like <laughs> I, you know, I'm on tour. I'm doing right. shows and he's there. <laughs> and he's just there. He's staying with like whatever auntie he has. Yes. All of my friends have watched him. Um, so cute. Sh- uh, have you been watching Real Housewives of Salt Lake? I have. <laughs> I think, okay, so it's always really hard for a housewife season to come back after like. Like, after, like, a scandal, like, after, like, a yeah. like big mm-hmm. reality bonties moment, it's, like, okay, everybody's excited yeah. to tune in, but the stakes are so high. Yeah. It always makes me, like, a little apprehensive, but I've been liking this season. Yeah. I do. It's so weird. Like, I find myself getting emotional for Mary and her son. Yeah. Oh, my God. You're such a Mary stan. Yeah. No, same. That's really it's sad. It's really sad, because like, yeah. I feel like it, I mean, I'm about to get serious, but, like, that has, like, affected my family, and, like, when mm. you see it on screen, and you're just, like... Like, I just know, like, there's yeah. nothing worse than that. And there's, like, nothing that, like, she can do. But I'm pretty sure he's getting help right now. I think I heard that on, like, Watch What Happens. Oh, good. Um, but, yeah, I I I love Salt Lake. I want to go there. Yeah. Do they have the um, I, altitude sickness? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I bet they're around the same have you yeah, been there? altitude. I've driven through there. I haven't. Do you ski? 
No. Or anything? No, no, no. Yeah. Well, you could lodge. I just want to drink the soda lodging. and go to the hair salons and get the curls. Yes. And get the, get the Salt Heather. Lake curls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In the soda stream. Did you watch Mormon Wives? No. Uh, I didn't know if I if it was worth it. I think you should. Oh, really? I think you should because I listened to some, like, Utah podcasts, like, <laughs> and they were essentially Utah saying. Culture. Polygamous. It, literally. <laughs> they were essentially saying, like, when Real Housewives of Salt Lake City was announced, people thought that, like, that was going to be the type of direction they went into mm-hmm. the um like kind of like the the Polygamy. super lives of mormon wise like younger girl because like that's yeah. what utah like mormon culture is like online and they went mm-hmm. in a different direction and it's great it's fabulous yeah. but this is like another version of that but in like a different font and it's so good mm. you need to watch it i watched it in like a sitting but the the saturation is on really high like you know on reality shows when they like try oh. to make people not have <laughs> wrinkles and they like turn yes. the saturation up yeah yeah it's like that i kind of love that Me too. i love it pretty i need filter. that i'm like no that on it. i know i was screaming on traders about the lighting at the round table i'm like to ever they're like are you doing okay do you need anything I'm like if you could tell whoever to turn up the lighting at the round table i would be so grateful so that actually films in scotland right yeah like mm-hmm. how fucking crazy is that i know it's so crazy who else is on the i know sierra's on the cast yes who, who um chriselle yes nikki bella Do you, okay yeah okay. okay no you don't get it so oh. i just recently uh. like made a tiktok because one of the bella twins follows me brie follows me mm-hmm. but so i don't want to like post too much about the lore because like i'm so yeah. fucking obsessed they've been in the industry for so long have you watched total bellas and total no, divas no well a little bit because my friend is also so reality tv pop culture obsessed it's not talked about enough yes it's the greatest reality tv show and nikki bella and john cena's love story oh. is actually i just got the chills it's actually the greatest love story ever seen on reality tv you can quote me on that wow. and it ends in heartbreak which is even better yeah <laughs> it is in and you see it from day one like he's like no marriage no kids but wow. like we'll date mm-hmm. and then she got him to say okay like no kids, but I'll get married to you. And then he proposes to her at SummerSlam. It's just, it's insane. And then she's like, you know what? I know you proposed to me, but I actually want kids. And yeah. he's like, I did it. It's, you, you need to watch it. Wow. It's so and good. it's all on TV. It's all, it's all documented. And oh I love God. them. I love yes. the Bella twins. Yeah. They're so down. Well, I haven't met Brie yet, but Nikki's like, you would love her. Obviously, Nikki is so down to earth. It's so She's cool. like such a down bitch. I've even like read like, their book and listened to their audio book. Like, oh my fan. God. Oh my God. No, I love it. She's yeah. literally, I didn't, I had like ridden an elevator with her before. Which is like we intimate. Had, yes, totally. Yeah. And she like had her kid. Nardo, sit. might just stare at you it's okay <laughs> um but so I like didn't really know what to think mm-hmm. like I try not to go in with too many assumptions plus I just like keep to myself <laughs> until yeah. I really know but um but we just hit it off I'm like I feel like I'm related to her and like some yeah. way she's like spiritual you're like um a triplet you're yeah. a Bella triplet yeah I you start, start wrestling <laughs> yeah I start you body slamming here, like, you <laughs> yeah <laughs> um uh, no she's so cool I'm mm-hmm. obsessed with her and yeah. their book is really interesting like about their childhood like it's, yeah. it's really good I, I, I highly recommend who so it's what guys are on the show Tom Sandoval oh which is an interesting choice for sure but it's mm-hmm. like I'm sure for the controversy yeah um Dylan Efron Zach Efron's brother mm-hmm. Not to be confused with Zach. <laughs> yeah, not to be confused with Zach. Zach. <laughs> I wish it was Zach. <laughs> he was like, like always my biggest celebrity crush. Zach? Yes. Really? What are your yeah. thoughts on like him now? <laughs> I'm like him being found at the bottom of a pool. What? I don't I think it was a story for like one second. Recently? Yeah, yeah, his PR Shut like the fuck up. Yeah, got it taken okay? down so fast, doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. Oh my god, I did not hear yeah. that. Zach Efron, okay. Zac Which Efron not is- to make like, come on, you guys, it's satire. <laughs> but he is the equivalent of Megan Fox, where it's like when you ask somebody their celebrity crush and they like didn't know one, they would like be like, Dude, oh, is Zac, Zac Efron. Efron? Yeah. So maybe. Yeah, probably. You know what I mean? I mean, right. He was just like easy to go to. Yeah. Who was like, have you seen that trend that's like, um, hear me out? No, what is that? So it's like couples sit down okay. and they like show their like, hear me out, which is like mm-hmm. their celebrity crush who like isn't attractive, but you're like, mm-hmm. you know what, like. I kind of think they're attractive. Sometimes it's like cartoon characters and stuff like that. <laughs> Freaks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Perverts. like Shade from Mulan. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, just to give an example. <laughs> You're like, not mine though. No, not mine though. <laughs> um, like, who's your celebrity crush that's like, people would be like, what the fuck? But like, 
you like them. But, like, into – I don't know. I feel like the first one that comes to mind is, like, Adam Driver, mm-hmm. Circle yeah, Girls. Yeah. That's, that's like, a perfect yes. example of to- one. He's, like, ugly hot, but, like, his personality – rewatching it, it definitely hits different now that I'm more enlightened. So you want to know what's crazy? I've never seen Girls. <gasps> I know, and I've seen everything. Oh, my God. But I also sometimes – I'm, like, so weird with TV. Like, I save shows that I know are going to mean a lot to me. Yeah. For, like, a time when I, like, need it. Or, like, a, mm-hmm. like a big, like, a holiday stretch. Or, like, if I'm getting, like, a surgery, I'm, like, okay. Like, I'll be able yeah. to just, like, what sit kind of and, surgery? like, take it in. <laughs> yeah. I'm, like, does anybody want to recommend a surgery in the comments? <laughs> yeah. I know I'm Dr. Always- Smile. <laughs> yeah. um, but I have never seen it. But, like, I know I'm going to need it and love it yeah i just haven't i haven't dove into it yeah when you're ready for it i've seen that episode on tiktok where it's like uh, the girl like goes on one date with the guy that she used to date and he's like an addict and like mm-hmm. she has like one night with him mm-hmm. and then she wakes up and finds out he's still using it everybody's like it's the best episode of television ever and you're like i don't oh, remember oh <laughs> yeah i know literally i think it's with charlie yeah i don't know <laughs> but um but i have to rewatch. i just like don't have a memory so like pop culture references are so hard for me because of trauma so we are literally the complete opposite <laughs> the opposite because your memory is so good but i think what i've been told i'm like i think actually what my therapist told me <laughs> yeah. um uh, is I would say the TV raised me. Like, my way of trauma was, like, through escapism, through TV and mm, movies. So, like, yeah. that's, like, my childhood memories is, like, other characters on TV. I'm, like, yeah. remember when we were wrestling? I'm, like, oh, that's total TV. <laughs> right. Yes. You're, like, I am them. No, I literally am. So, like, I'm a pop culture encyclopedia. It's, like, No, I love it. Because it's so fun to talk, talk to you. And then when other people get the niche references, yes. it's, like, I want that. I want yeah. that so bad. So we'll make but, you flashcards. I know. But, yeah, please. What is, like, your, like, what is, what is your, like, pop culture thing that, like, from the past that you, like, do remember and you're, like, oh, my God, like, Literally, my niche, like, love. I like Nothing. Grease. I love I, Grease. I love Grease. My parents got me, like, um, the script. So in oh, a yeah. book, yeah. So I knew like literally every word, every song. Yeah, I love loved Grease too. I feel like so underrated. underrated. Yes, but a cult classic. Yes, it's so good. And then they've tried to do also. What about Vanessa Hudgens? I mean, they're gonna die, but <laughs> inevitable. Um, she, when she was in the Grease live like TV mm. musical, like yeah. you know how they brought the TV. Like her dad died like the night before, and she went on and did the show. Perfectly the next day. Wow. You Maybe know what? for him. Speaking of Zach. Yeah. I still kind of ship Zach and Vanessa, even though she just had a child with somebody else. Yeah. It'll I mean, always be there. It's like a Miley Liam thing. Yeah, totally. What about like Justin and Selena? <laughs> so I actually was like a Bieber fan account. Yeah. Like when I'm I was dead. younger, I love Justin so much. And, um, but I wasn't one of the fans that like didn't like that he had a girlfriend. Like I like liked yeah. Selena. Like I like liked it. Yes. Do you them know what as I mean? a couple. Yeah. Yes. And I, I love. I love them, but I, mm-hmm. I think he's I think he's good with Haley. Yeah. Um, I think Selena's good with Benny Blanco. Benny Blanco. Kind of Stan. Yeah. You know? Because you, like, how good is somebody who's funny? Totally. You're, like, speaking of. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> um, But that really is. It's, like, if I, if I was somebody like Selena or, like, a big celebrity, I'd be, like, mm-hmm. everybody's going to fuck me over. I might as well just, like, laugh. Yeah. And, like, get a funny guy. <laughs> totally. Like, you know what I mean? Get the yes. funny guy. And do something different. But I've heard, I have friends who would go to his, like, game parties mm-hmm. and, like, be around him in L.A. What are game parties? So he would throw, like, these, like, like just, like, game nights. Like, just, like, mm-hmm. hangs, whatever. And they said that, like, he had, like, the biggest dick energy of all time. Oh, I'm sure. And people were, when like, you're that ugly, <laughs> to you him. have to have some kind people of energy. People were flocking to him. Yeah. That's, what, that's probably people probably talk about me. They're like, <laughs> no. Two of us to the left a little, but, like, I was drawn. Like a fucking fly <laughs> to a candle. Yeah. No, no, stop. You're gorgeous. No. But wait, how do you, like, so this is my podcast, actually. <laughs> yeah, um, no, please. When you first got on reality TV, yeah. were you, like, so self-conscious or were you like confident because I feel like if mm-hmm. I was on a scale because like when I post myself on social media and people are like you literally mm-hmm. look like you people tell me I look like I have Bell's palsy which no, is stop. rude why your face is totally symmetrical I talk out of the side of my I have like Drew Barrymore I think I watched 50 first dates too, long, too many times <laughs> I'm dead yourself. serious literally <laughs> um and it made me so so self-conscious like but being on like a show like The Bachelorette like national yeah. TV like that audience you don't like I feel like the normal person doesn't realize like 
how many people fucking watch that show. Like, it's yeah. insane. And when you, like, like, how big TVs are these days, I'm like, can you please <laughs> just fucking zoom out a little bit or, like, get a smaller TV? Like, nobody should be watching themselves, like, this magnified. Was it, like, crazy to see you, like, on TV? Yeah, I just disassociate. I'm, like, so nervous for traders because I didn't, I didn't <laughs> Have watch. Have you ever had something in your tooth and, like, you watch it, you're like, why didn't anybody <laughs> tell me on the TV? Not a tooth, but I'm so worried about a zit, a, yes. a particular zit on this <laughs> season of trade. Everybody, so if you guys yeah. see it, tag her in the photo. <laughs> Literally, shot it. Call me out, roast me. I love Get to a be star roasted. Face collab, you know what I mean? Yeah, like the pimple patches. Yeah, honestly, I should because I looked at. I'll like never look in the mirror because I don't want to get down on myself. It's like I actually am the most confident on, when I'm filming because really? I know I have to gaslight myself okay. and and others. So I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, I just have to like really be like whatever. Um, so it's like you're not comparing yourself because it's not gonna get anywhere. You mm-hmm. can't compare yourself to Sierra from Summer House. You're not. Can we talk about her for a second? She's so gorgeous. She's such a black cat. When Mm -hmm. I saw her in person, I saw her like at a Giggly Squad show. There's, okay, I always tell people, I'm like, in Hollywood, everyone's hot. Like, yeah, whatever. But there are certain people that I've like met for the first time where I'm like, holy Mm -hmm. fucking shit. Like, it like genuinely takes your breath away. And she was one of those people. I didn't even, I don't even think I said hi to her, but it's just like, she looks like a filter. Yeah. Like, she literally looks like a filter. Mm -hmm. I also felt that way about Addison Rae. Oh. And she is. The nicest, I know how the much best. you died for yeah. Addison Ray. She's just wrote Which, for me really hard. Aww. Like she will always say my name in rooms and like. Oh my she's god, really? Like, she's so sweet and yeah. she's under like. I've been like a stand from the start. I was like, I knew she was gonna be cunt. I knew yeah. it, and everybody was shitting on me. Uh-huh. I was like, no, you guys don't get it. I met her, and when I saw her, I was like, star fucking potential. Oh totally, star fucking potential. And now she's yeah. every moment nominated for a Grammy. Is she on the, the Charlie Grammys? Are collab. so out of whack right now. How all crazy. I, oh, yeah, all I'm seeing is like, like I didn't know. I mean, Charlie XCX. I hope she's nominated for everything. She, I like, is. fucking die yes, for her. Same. I don't give a fuck that she's auto tuned. I mean, to go from boom but, clap to brat. Later now I'm like, listening. Now about I'm it. listening to all of her old stuff. You're like boom <laughs> clap <laughs> down my heart. Like, yeah, at the club you're like play boom clap. <laughs> right? She has like vroom vroom. She yes. has a line that's like coke in my nose and I don't even care and I'm like at least she owns it totally like everybody everybody in that scene is like so blown out mm-hmm. on blow mm-hmm. <laughs> but it's like nobody likes to admit it but at least she does but Addison Ray, I think is undeniably so hot she wears like no makeup when you, it's like she are you wearing mascara right now no see I always say <laughs> you can tell somebody is like hot <laughs> and like confident when they don't wear mascara. Like, you look good no. without mascara. I think that's mm. such a sign of beauty. Not to, like, get into no. beauty standards. <laughs> yeah. But, like, when people don't have to wear mascara, and but can wear other makeup, it's just, like, yeah. and that's how she, like, she wears no makeup, no mascara. No. She'll do, like, she'll do this. This is how you know you're hot when you do this. Yes, what do you do with the middle? <laughs> yeah. Like, this is, I will not like myself until I can do this. <laughs> This is my new scale. This is I my will. new, um, what is yes. it called? What is the app where you count she, your calories? What is it called where you, like, Fitbit? Yeah, this is my new, like, fitness journal. Like, when I do this, yeah. I'm, that's what I'm going to be I met happy. my goal for the day. People are like, what's your goal weight? I'm like, yeah, this. this. For those of you listening, she's lightly tapping with the middle of her finger but you need all to over her that. face. People no. will know. Yeah. People will know. Yeah, it's no, honestly. Yes, I know. And just like just like a coral kind of, yes. a color that nobody can get away no. with that's like natural. And I love how crazy she's been with her fashion lately. Like her Madonna tits. Ugh, everything. I know. But this is the thing. It's like, you know, in The Devil Wears Prada where she talks about like the fashion cycle. It's like everything that you are – he ate the whole monkey. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. This will come out in his poop later. Luckily, he's never had. I know. This is what I'm dealing with. Like, I don't know. Like, what? I know. I'm heavily medicated for anxiety, and he should be, too. Huh? Yeah, I should my, give my him some is. gabapentin. My dog is. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my God. My dog used to shit blood from, no, from oh, anxiety. From anxiety. He had stress colitis. <laughs> Any other stress colitis community people in the chat? <laughs> um, It's horrifying but like it made my anxiety so bad so we were both just like in the corner like <laughs> shaking hello shitting like, blood <laughs> like no literally um what were we talking about Hi, I think what Addison Rae which, which I love how you like to talk PR because same I'm always thinking about mm-hmm. PR it's like how do whatever we're all like wanting to create brands for ourselves mm-hmm. but it's like Charlie D'Amelio in the same era but 
kind of could not do the same thing. Like, I love Broadway for her though. I think so too. I, I think love that's so Broadway for it her. Makes total, like, it makes total like it makes total sense. She's a dancer. Yeah, she and she's a great dancer, and yeah. I know that because I lost to her on Dancing with the Stars, which was tragic. I never stood a chance. That was your season. Yeah, was her season. Uh huh. I was second to her. Yeah. Holy shit! I know. Did I you renegade? <laughs> there was there was a big upset online. I'm like, thank God, but you know what? We got paid the same. Oh, so, so yeah. How does that lead? you? Do yeah, you get a flat fee. Does everybody? Or do you have to make it to like the top four or something like There's that? There's a flat fee for going, and then you get paid more weekly. Oh, and really? And then in the later weeks, you get paid even more. So the four of us that made it to the finals all got paid the same. Interesting. Yeah. Could you so like? I'm like do- I don't give a fuck. Keep your disco ball and shove it up your ass. Could you do a <laughs> I'm just like kidding. a bachata or something? Could you do a cha Like, do yeah. You, do you still know it? I think it it could come back to me. You get up like, and you're just like yeah. I'm like. I'm like cha cha one two. Would cha-cha-cha. that give you anxiety? Like I always think, like while they're dancing on the stage, like because I was competitive cheerleader. When it comes to like remembering a routine, it's like ingrained in you if you practice enough. But did you ever be like right before the music started, like holy Blank. shit, I don't remember all the time. Really? Yes. Oh, totally. I was on so much propanolol, which is a dangerous game because I was also physically active. Do you take beta blockers? <laughs> no, but I've heard about it on Kardashian. <laughs> okay, yeah. It just like, it tricks your body into thinking you're not anxious because it slows your heart rate. Really? So, and it's not But addictive. that's different than like anxiety medicine or is it like the same shit? Yeah, because it's not a benzo. It's a very, because you know anxiety is like so somatic. Yes. Is what, so you like feel it in your body. It's like so physically manifesting Mm -hmm. but it's all happening in your brain so it's like propanolol just like takes those symptoms away so your brain doesn't think you're anxious anymore um so but it's like it slows your heart rate down and you can't get it back up so when you're exercising you get so tired faster so one time I took way too many and I gassed out I could barely finish the dance really yeah it was so bad I'm like can't do that again holy shit so then I just moved to tequila and then I was like, like come on I don't yeah I was do like that singing the words yeah. I'm like oh, 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 living remember, la vida loca do you remember when Tyra was the host was she was I was she, yeah mm-hmm. that was your season yeah and she was like and okay I like justice for Tyra Banks like I know she's trying to sell her ice cream some ice cream oh is and, like, she that must be hard because like <laughs> also like she opened up I I love Tyra Banks more she opened up a selfie um like museum like installation like the day before COVID those are like, so interesting she put like all of her money into like this America's Next Top Model like simulation mm. selfie museum and it like mm. opened like the day COVID happened fuck and, like, she spent, that's like, her two luck years on it and like I'm yeah. just like Ooh. and then she tried to do Smize Cream which yeah. is like an ice cream line that she started in Dubai um Not Dubai. but like I see I'm, I I know what's going on with her so she still has a little bit going on but yeah. I remember on Dancing with the Stars like it was like so bad like she so was bad. just like out of control yeah but and all she had to do was kind of like read a prompter but I'm like what else did you expect yeah like I don't you know where she like you know you know her from top model and like did you watch top model I think like some of it I did but it was before I really knew what abuse was I think at that point I was still in my abusive cycle Mm -hmm. so I was like yeah this seems right yeah this seems right I have rewatched it currently too like Uh on Hulu um and it is fucking insane. But, like, do you know, like, yeah. Lost Culture says with, like, Matt and Bone Yang? No. You need to listen. Oh, my God. It's so good. Yeah. Um, but, like, they have a question at the end of every podcast that's, like, what's the culture that made you think culture was for you in the sense of, like, pop culture? Yeah. And I really think America's Next Top Model, like, watching that at a young age, <laughs> as abusive as it was, like, mm-hmm. it shifted things for me. Yeah. It shifted things for me. Like, and, like I would, a- like, I, I knew to, like, <laughs> put my cheese yeah, down. Like, in what walking. way? And you're, like, a very tangible yeah. way. So, like, I would, like, be walking in elementary school. Like with my chin forward, <laughs> and it just like changed my life. You know yes. what I mean? It's like that's yeah. why I'm on this couch right now. <laughs> Literally, yeah. you're like you will not so find like neck wrinkles. Like, <laughs> yeah, but that's me like posing in the mirror for a red carpet. Are you going? <laughs> I'm like I wanted to ask you this. Are you going to a Sports Illustrated event next week? You know they haven't called me. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to L'Oreal Woman of Worth? Yes. Oh my God. Okay. Same. Yes. Yeah. I am. Um, Sports Illustrated. They were like, we don't want you to show up because, like, we don't want like the intimidation factor. Like, this is about an event about self love, and if you show up, people will start doubting themselves, body, mind, and soul. So I was like, I'll stay in the car, and they're like, no, just like don't come. You know what I mean? You're like, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Wait. What? Like, so what is the sports? What is it? It's just an anniversary party, so it's like nothing of a fiftieth and of them. (laughs) 
I think it's a birthday. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna tell them they got it wrong. I'm gonna start calling my birthday a, an, an anniversary. anniversary. Yeah. My birth anniversary. It's just my, yeah, my birth anniversary. Yeah. And it's like naturally less years than your birthday yes. because like an anniversary, like you're not exactly. gonna be married for that long. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna get married? Um. Yes. Did you I think like? So. Were you a kid like thinking about like weddings? And Not when stuff I was like that? super young, mm-hmm. but like there was definitely a time when I was living in Denver, and everybody is very traditional. That I was like, all of my Instagram for you page was like proposals, weddings, yeah. and I would cry myself to sleep. Or really? Like, oh, well, you went on the Bachelor. <laughs> yeah. So you can tell I'm desperate, You're and like, then I, I became like, a lesbian. Like, wanted to get married. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like a thought. Right. I didn't really think about it. Like, but wait, wait a second. I, I left did go Mary. on TV for. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to find love. <laughs> I can like under I'm kind of like maybe I don't need to get married, but I like the idea of the commitment. Mm-hmm. Some people are like fuck the establishment, but I'm like I don't know. I don't uh, I feel that way about a lot of things, mm-hmm. but not marriage. Yeah, for I some reason. never thought that I would get married. Like I mm. like but it wasn't a choice. Like people like didn't want to marry me. No. Um but I loved loved being a child of divorce. Yeah. That's my, that's my unpopular opinion. Okay. Um, <laughs> You're like, I, it works for me. It's just like, it was, in your Pisces moon. The setup <laughs> just worked for me. Like, I yeah. like having two houses, two parents, and then one died. So I was like, fuck, I only have one. Like, maybe divorce, like, isn't it? <laughs> but like, um, so I never, like, I was like, I'm never going to get married. But I feel like now, like, now, I'm like, now that I have attention and validation, I'm like, I'm kind of here yeah. for it. I'm yeah. I'm here for it. But I would do it, like, non-traditional in the sense of, like, a wedding. Like, yeah. I think wedding and Same. wedding culture I think is they're actually out. the craziest. Actually, yeah. think about it. Like, even, yeah. I, this is not shitting on people who have weddings. But, like, if you're having a wedding, think about it. Like, yeah. why do the bridesmaids walk down the aisle and stand up there? Like, they don't speak. Yeah. Yeah. They're all wearing the same thing. Like, what is it? And every single wedding is the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a ceremony. Like, you do the same exact thing. And, like, nobody's having fun. Yeah. Nobody's having fun. Yeah. No. what is it? Yeah, you got to make the ceremony really short. We don't even know what's going on. And this this podcast is brought to you by Birdie Gray. Get your bridesmaids (laughs) dresses. Zola. Zola. <laughs> yeah. But no, I agree. I think they're really going to be out soon. Yeah. I think big traditional weddings are on their way out. You heard it here I, first. I hope. Yeah. But what would you, like, what food would you serve at your wedding? Ugh, I, new American. <laughs> I mean, like, Ram you had to pick, like, a restaurant or something. Oh. Like, an L.A. place or, um, like, a junk food. Mm, a junk, I mean, John and Vinny's. The best. Yes. The so, best. So good. I love it. I love mm-hmm. the, what is it called? Um, I or no, that's uh, <laughs> what does this mean? Do, yeah, what it, I know. I'm Charades. like, uh, uh, the fusilli, the spicy fusilli. Okay, yes, 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 sexual. Yeah, no, it is. And their chicken parm, have you had? No, oh, with a squeeze of lemon. It's I love really lemon. Same, I put lemon on everything, it makes me feel skinny. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I'm full. <laughs> mm, it's sour. <laughs> what about the kid in elementary school that would like eat a lemon like an apple to like look cool? Yeah, that was me. If that, <laughs> you're like putting the lemon behind you. <laughs> yeah, no, it was me with the orange peel. Yeah, and the mouth i thought that was so yeah, funny what kind until of elementary college. school kid were you <laughs> i just have a wet cough from all the weed um i was like i i was kind of a little shy but like i think naturally i was like in okay yeah like line leader energy but I, I was getting bullied my For what my best friend she would she was just like a bully she's mm-hmm. not my best friend anymore but she would literally pin me down Laura. to the floor <laughs> yeah she would pin me down, and she did. Get, she got caught stealing from the local pet shop. Pets? Yeah, pet shop, like the dog shop. No, but no. Did she oh. steal pets? <laughs> You're like, that's actually how I got. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Shh, get away. No, she was just stealing like merchandise without the pet. Without the pet, it's yeah. like going to build a bear and taking like the t-shirts, but not the stuffed animal. Like, yeah. What's the point? No, literally. But how are you going to steal a pet? I mean, yeah. I'm like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> it's like a lizard in my pocket. Yes, it's like a fish in your mouth. <laughs> Did you ever have fish? Uh, yeah. Did I you mean, have? Oh, no. What is it called? Hermit crabs. Yes. 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 Uh, okay. If you sold hermit crabs at the mall, yeah. Like, can you please come on this podcast? <laughs> yes. Like, let us that, that feel. That is a career thinking. that we need to come back the hermit crab salesman at the mall oh and they're enthusiasts because who who would have known that hermit crab 
shell to shell. Yeah. And you could get SpongeBob on them. Brat yeah. Summer, Hermit Crab. <laughs> Literally. Like, hello? Yeah. It could save us all. Yeah, truly. And then, like, they would literally last, like, three days. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, because you'd have to flush them down the toilet. <laughs> I'm, like, step one for bad behavior. Yes. It got my sister like this. It pinched really? her in the palm, and she was, like, There's... freaking out. And I was like, better you not like, me, bitch. Over here. She's like, yeah. no, the Hermit I'm Crab. Like, oh, it hurts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hermit Crab sales. I really man. wanted tree frogs. I have this, like, I. Weird frogs. Yeah, Maybe I. It can be your wedding thing. No, I was really into frogs. I've since grown up. My you aunt are really frog girl. I mean, I know there's horse girl, but I'm like literally a toad frog. girl. Okay, yes. Toad girl. No, I'm a toad gore, warty as fuck, and Did you ribbit. Have warts growing up? Duh, Me too planner on my warts. Feet. Yes. yes, it's probably from like cheer. Yeah, and they had to freeze them off. Yeah, they had to dig mine out. Ooh, I know. I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> but um, Nardo, like he can't see. No, he needs a groom. Yeah. But it happens so fast. I know. I'm like, okay, great. Um, it's like my pubes that just grow so fast. <laughs> yeah, literally. I take those to the groomers, too. Me, too. I'm, I'm like, like hey. Rec- no, but, like, yeah. whenever I shave, I get out of the shower, and, like, it's, f- like, my leg hair, like, it's grow. It's already grown. It's fully back. It's fully back. Have you done laser? So, okay. Is laser a scam? <laughs> no. Really? It's so. But do you have to go, like, ten scam. times? I mean, are you – you're Italian. Yeah. Do you have, like – you look like you have lighter hair. Is it box? <laughs> it's, it's dark. You, okay. Okay, good. It's no, dark, yeah. yeah. that responds. You might need, like, a couple more treatments than normal, but, no, you start getting a response ASAP. I – so something – I'm always up on the trends. I'm a trend <laughs> forecaster. Nobody <laughs> told me that everybody got laser, like, four years ago. Like, yeah. It's, like, kind of, like, embarrassing to shave as an adult, as is what I've been seeing online. Yeah, what and, are like, these razors? I'm literally still shaving my legs and my vagina. Yeah, you're, so you're like I need Philly to get subscription. on that. So it, it really is not. There's a place I can new look skin in Glendale, okay. or I'm sure there's one closer to you. It's so cheap, a la carte. You don't even have to sign up for it. It was really? a scam when you had to do the membership. I That's worked, what I'm thinking. Yeah. I worked for a laser hair removal place. Really? I needed to make the change from ICU to aesthetic nurse. I fucked some people up. Really? Scalloped a full hairline. There was smoke coming out of the laser. Really? If you're like, listening, what is I'm it? sorry. Um, it's a dangerous tool. Yeah. A weapon of mass destruction. And I got no training. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. But all the other That was nurses- like me and my hostess job, but like less <laughs> yeah. dangerous. Yeah. It's like, I guess I'm just going to seat people. <laughs> right. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy. Like, not in this section. <laughs> uh, but no, it really works and it helps with ingrowns, which I like a lot. And that's my issue. Yeah. yeah. That, that is It'll my issue away. I'm standing with. Yeah. Ingrown hair. It's like- it is so fucking bad, and I just started getting them, like, this year, and it's, like, embarrassing. Like, when you have, like, an yeah. ingrown hair on your vagina and your ass, totally. you're just like, hey. Right. Like, like what's what going is this on? bump? Yeah. Yeah. Like, do no. you ever get acne in your butt? Um, Like, yeah. Like, I feel like I used to. Like, I think that is, like, my cross to bear. <laughs> yeah. Like, when you have a pimple on your butt, like, nothing makes you're, me like, feel smaller. You're, like, star sticker on your butt. Yes. You're, literally. like, doggy with your boyfriend. <laughs> and you forgot to take the patch off. You're but like, you do oh, the shit. whole butt because it's, like, making it a thing. <laughs> like there's that that's humbling that's something that's humbling is like having a pimple on the butt yeah but always i talked about on my podcast that came out this week i had a minor anal prolapse what is that um it's just like when your butthole sticks out a oh, little yes, bit yes 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 it, it went back in but i had to tell robbie but i was like actually so excited to tell her i was like guess what the fuck just happened it should be embarrassing but i feel like we're close enough and she was like do you want to stick it back in yeah i mean that is romance yeah. That's like sexting. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, Brad is closer. What is it called when you uh, – what is it called? Like um, people get them on their butt, oh, yeah. on their butthole. Yeah. What is uh, it called? Like uh, a her, pimple? Her, her, oh, like, like a, a herpy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just say it. You're almost there. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I forget what it is, but it's kind of like sometimes they stick out kind of like – A hemorrhoid. A hemorrhoid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I've never had hemorrhoids. I feel like that is like where my mm. genetic – like blessing comes in yes but one time on a flight to arizona um <laughs> i feel like i took like a sleeping pill like one of those dream water things or some shit like that i woke up and i was like i'm going to literally like shit my pants like bad yeah when it, it, on an airplane too and you're like Fuck. right and like so i and you know when you have to go to the bathroom so bad and like nothing's happening so you like sit on the toilet but if you you can't get up because you almost feel sick and you don't want to have to come back to the bathroom right i thought i had a hemorrhoid and i did that and i literally sat in an airplane bathroom for like an hour and they knocked because no. they thought like somebody was drunk and passed out or something bad happened no and then i had to walk out in front of everybody yeah you're like it was me there's 
a huge line. The whole airplane is waiting to like go to the, the bathroom. But they did like a wellness check. But I was like, <laughs> no. I can't get up because then like, what if I have to go in five minutes and right. then like I have to go back? Were you like, do you get like scared? Was it the fear of letting it all out? I don't know. I don't know. It was like, you know what I'm talking about when you're like, I'm either going to throw up or yes. go to the bathroom. And yeah. like, you can't move. You're like literally paralyzed. Totally. It was yes. that. Yeah. It was horrible. And I was on the way to Scottsdale, so I haven't gone back. <laughs> I have not gone back to Scottsdale. I'll never go back. Yeah. One time I had a I had a two night stand with a Zamboni driver in Scottsdale. I'll Shut the never fuck go back up. Yeah, we had like a romance. I asked him to come visit like me. Like in Ice Princess, Teddy the Zamboni driver. He <laughs> was that a thing? I'm like, why are you a Zamboni in Arizona? There's no snow here. See, and as an adult person, he must have been a Gemini. Opposites. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah, he had to have been. Mm-hmm. Also, one time I, I was a competitive story. figure skater. Oh, really? I've seen, I've seen a Zamboni driver or two. Oh, my God. Not in the bedroom. How was it? Um, um, it was good. He called me out. I had like I had missed a spot shaving like right in the tank. See, this is what I'm talking about. Yes. That's Embarrassing. Why you need, that's why you need laser. I know. And his dumb ass called me out. You know. Shut up. You know, a taint. It taint the pussy and it taint your asshole yes um i he was like i forget what he called it he's like you left a fur patch like a tuft that is crazy i know i was i it was too Do you shocking. Get embarrassed like it depends See, that's like the only thing that yeah. would like because i don't get embarrassed he's, he's like, literally a zamboni driver though so it's like same, i had yeah. the power and it would have been like, like you missed fine. a career <laughs> yeah literally i'm like yeah but honestly like zamboni drivers shout out like yeah somebody big has to shout do the out job. somebody has to do the job totally he yeah that's mortifying see that's that i'm signing up for laser like that's when you actually went and got laser <laughs> yes yeah exactly no it's so worth it it's worth its weight in gold truly yeah that's insane how did you meet um at a bar just like drunk as fuck i think he was really funny i've always had a soft spot for the funnies mm-hmm. yeah. exactly i'm the same mm-hmm. i'm the same way but my boyfriend is like so not funny i'm kidding no um, <laughs> but i think that like even yeah even when i was younger like i loved in ccd like i went to church when i like and went to like church class like i went to ccd catholic yep yes there's nothing better than a ccd class clown <laughs> a ccd yeah. class clown hits different like somebody who pretends to be somebody else when there's a substitute or is like making jokes about like the disciples it was like it cracked me up like i literally was like that is my type yeah cracking jokes in bible study like literally because you know like when you're little like the kid that's cracking jokes you're either like really into him or you're like think he's like annoying like i was never the one that was like he's annoying i was like that's my man oh never oh yeah same my man loved the class clowns i loved a whisper in my ear in math class something Mm -hmm. funny i'm like please but you're five five yeah totally like you never have a shot but i'm going to laugh he's like chewing on his his eraser he's like eraser bits in his mouth i'm like he's like yeah Oh my god. Well, I think that's like that's it really. Okay, really I'm like okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. Get okay, the fuck bye. out. I took over the podcast. No, I, I loved it. I hope I loved it. I wanted to talk like like more I uh, about PR stuff, but it's like who cares? Yeah, I'm like it's my career. Just like literally who gives a fuck. No, um but I love when I come on podcasts and we just like Kiki and do this cuz sometimes I come yeah. on podcasts I feel like you can um do the same and they do so much research on you and they're like asking you questions and I'm like I don't yeah. think people like care. Right. Do you and know what I mean? Enough. I know. Sometimes I think I get in trouble because it's not so much interview style, but it's like that's what I didn't want it yeah. from the beginning. Like I just always want it to be a dumbass conversation. Yeah, which is like what the world needs. I think so. That's, make give. You know what? Dumb conversations. <laughs> It could are important. It could it could unite the country. I also think Taylor Swift could unite the country if she wanted to mm-hmm. by putting on um, a USA patriotic sequins bodysuit, one legged, one legged, sparkly booties. Okay, yeah, and just like chanted and singing. Um, God bless America. God bless America. Taylor's version. Have you ever confidently worn like a thick booty? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like those fall booties. 100%. Yeah. Oh my God. I feel like that yeah, also Being from could... Colorado. Oh yeah. Thanks. Yes. Thank God it's out, right? Yeah. Are we still I wearing I mean even booties, just the word guys? booty. Yes. Like just think about it. It's like, like, like it's, it's, right. It's like, it's like nostalgic. It gives me like Botox. Like the word <laughs> yeah. booty. And Taylor Swift is still wearing them on the stage. So she you know is, what? Yeah. She's Talk about great PR. Yeah. For the booty. Yeah. She knows what she's doing. She's doing it for the booty. Well. Okay. Where can for... we find you? Um, I'm like my house. Um, <laughs> same in my bed um, girl boss town girl boss girl boss girl boss 
<laughs> Girl Boss Town on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, yay. Okay, yay. Thank you so much for coming. We loved. We love. Bye, guys. Bye.